physically live in the district in which you're running? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, Mr. Graham? Yeah. Yes, I do. I live in the Bloomington district, too. That was an easy one. We'll go back to the water one time. <laughs> uh, do you anticipate any problems working with your fellow council members? Well, let's talk about Mr. Graham on this one. No, I don't. Um, I got a kind of strong voice they told me, but I can get that coming from the office. But communication and being able to communicate and get along with, with teamwork is what the army was about. Right? Uh, Mr. Evan? I think we wouldn't necessarily have uh, any problems per se, but we will have disagreements, I'm sure, because there are things that I have viewed within our district that there has not been a change to or a change for. So I'm, I'm looking at apparently certain things that had been addressed. So. I'm looking at I'm looking at bringing this to the table and address this for the people of District Two. So as long as we can work together to compromise, to just give a little, to get a little, rather than giving it all for nothing, then I think we'll be okay. Uh, and finally, we'll start with uh, Mr. Uh, Hogan on this one. Uh, what is your position on renewable energy? Well, as far as renewable energy, um, I think that that's a, a great approach as far as looking at you no know, other means. To, uh, to create energy, you know, as well as other things, but there are alternative ways as well. Um, it's just like the, the, the solar panels, you know, for example. Like, solar, solar panels are great, but the situation with those solar panels, they, call, they are so expensive to, you know, to, to install. So if you're gonna get a return on these solar panels, you're looking at about 20 years. So that's, that's almost a mortgage. So I think when we're, when we're gonna play solar panels in certain areas, we have to look at, you know, when do we plan on getting a return? Uh, or do we want our return to be somewhere in the near future? Or can we say that, hey, I'm willing to go 20 years to get, you know, to get the you know, money back out of the situation? So that's my approach. Uh, Mr. Grant, your vote. I would like to see some research on that from other large cities before we jump out and do something. <laughs> all right, thank you. Uh, those are all the questions we have submitted from the audience. So I'll give uh, each candidate an opportunity for a one minute closing statement. Oh. We got a couple more coming in, so I know we're going to take a We'll start with for one specifically for Mr. Hogan. Uh, what type of business do you own, and how do you feel you apply you can apply this experience to the city council? Well, my business is uh, I own Five Star Taxi of Valdosta Lake Park. Um, I started when I was 24 years old, and uh, the reason why I decided to even run in the first place is because. For one, when I'm, when I'm driving my cabs, I'm, I think of everybody, every walks of life. Not only am I hearing the problems that we have in our district, but I'm hearing the problems that we have in every district. You know, so, so, so I have to start from somewhere, and that's within my district. And so I'm looking at, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, hey, you know, it, start, it can start with me. You know, so if it starts with me, then I can be a voice for our district, and I can present our situations to the councilors at, at the meeting if I'm a lady, uh, if I'm a lady in the city council, district two. Uh, also, what I've seen is driving through the city just every day. I, I, I drive every day, you know, and just looking at the changes. Like I could, a lot of times, I could just see a change just like that, you know. And I'm like, wow, like that wasn't there before. Now my question is, why is it there? And should it be there? Would be my next question. So there have, there have been a lot of changes. Some for the good. Uh, some I don't think should have been done at that certain time. And, um, so I, I've been noticing, like, like I said, the draining system on, on South Troop. You know, when it's raining, there's a difference when someone calls for a cab because when they call for a cab when it's daylight, when it's just sunny outside, then they're like, hey, they'll, they'll jump in, hey, I got to go, I'm late. But when it's raining, they say, hey, John, hold on, you, 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 could you please pull up to the door because it's, it's, it's a lake right here. Like, my kids can't run out to the, to the cab, so could you please come up a little more? So that's what, that's, uh, I get that a lot. And that area, also on uh, the upper parts of uh, Troop Street as well, on, uh, like on the east parts of Troop Street. So that's why I think that's the, the, what I bring to the table, is I just bring real life. You know, there's nothing, you know, fake or phony about seeing it every day. You know, so this is what I see. That's what told me, hey, you know, I have to do something about it. You know, <laughs> it's going to start with me. So uh, that's what I think I bring. Also, the change within. Uh, the, the businesses, you know, certain uh, occupancy licenses, uh, a lot of the, you know, business owners as well have, you know, feel like that a lot of times it takes 
a while to get your occupancy license for your business. Even though you've already paid your, your lease or your, your, your loan, your bank loan, you've got your equipment, you have your, you know, everything that you need for your business, but you can't really allow anyone to really come in at a certain capacity because you don't know what your capacity is until you've issued the license from the city. Well, I think Dallas is a great place. A lot of things we have here, I think we need to extend out and make it work for ourselves. Let me give you an example. We have the Matthew City Auditorium here, a beautiful old building. We can make that building work for us. We have uh, uh, and bring in more revenue to this area. Uh, we have the Isaiah City Fair. We have the Juneteenth Fair. We have a lot of things that goes on. We just need to invest and make the things that we got to work. Take the example of the Expo that's going on in Moultrie just the uh, next three days. They got just about every one of our hotels before. We have the area that we can do the same here, and we just need to advertise the golf All right, and the uh, final question, and we'll start with Mr.